everyone. This is Augusto from AAA Innovação, and here we are with Jane. Jane, could you introduce you, you to us, please? Yeah, sure. Uh, my name is Jane, and I am a head of branding at Kitchen. We are a software development company born in Ukraine, but now we have eight offices around the globe. Nice. In Poland, in Ukraine, in uh, Mexico as well. Perfect. And we're here at Ukraine's stand. We're talking about Ukraine ecosystem, tech ecosystem. And Jane, we would like to know, uh, well, we all know about the Ukrainian situation now, and this event promotes transformation. So in terms of transformation, transformation, what connections do you see between the event and Ukrainian situation right now? Yeah, so uh, as you know, it's already one and a half a year uh, the war in Ukraine. And it's already the period when we can show the world how we can survive through the war, go through the war and still growing, still building our own product. So this is about a transformation from the zero into new products, you know, from the ground and to, to new startups like you can see here. So we present here uh, a resilience of Ukraine, uh, ability to transform during the difficult hard times. I see. So in terms of highlights of the Ukrainian, Ukrainian ecosystem, what would you present to us? What are the highlights of you in here right now? Okay. So first of all, it's my company, Kitroom. Uh, we provide um, dedicated developers to companies from US, Australia, or UK. So uh, tech companies from US, let's say, they know that Ukrainian people are really skilled, are really experienced in terms of development, in terms of the hard soft skill. They're absolutely good in communication, in the culture approach and stuff like this. Uh, secondly, I think this product is also very, very promising. This is VR glasses that allows you to be in Ukraine, actually, when you put it. What do you mean by that? Yeah, uh, so they somehow <laughs> transport the image of Ukrainian war into these glasses. Okay. Yeah, so you can check it like anytime you want. And they, actually, they can like transport you to any place in the world. Yeah. And then you can have the real sensations that Ukrainians are going through at this moment. Yeah, exactly. Nice. Yeah. Well, and you told me that you have just moved to the, to Canada like yeah, four months true. ago. Uh, what barriers do you see for a business development for a foreigner in here, especially Ukrainians that are going through at this moment right now? Yeah. So. Um, I mean, in terms of difficulties and all these kind yeah, of things. Uh, first of all, uh, I feel the huge support of you of Canadian government, Canadian people to Ukrainian. Uh, in terms of place to live, uh, food, work, everything. Uh, and in terms of the tech ecosystem, uh, we already have a few startups who raised money here in Canada. So Canadian money from Canadian investors. So Canadian investors are open to invest in Ukrainian startups if it's something that's worth to be invested. So, uh, yeah. Nice. And one last message for our a public that is watching us. What do you expect from now to next year for Collision 2024 and also for Ukraine? Yeah, so in terms of uh, Collision, I already met here a lot of startups, promising guys with the great ideas. And I think that next year it will be more guys like this, more startups, more bright uh, minds. And I think it will be still the biggest tech event in the North America as it is right now and in terms of Ukraine I do believe that we will win till the next year we will win and we will get our territory back every territory all the territory and yeah I think we will win and then uh, we will get even more investment in our country uh, we will grow our tech hubs we will grow our tech product we will help Ukraine to rebuild from the war and this is what I expect. And that's your role in here, right? Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Jing, thank you very much for your time. It was thank a big you. pleasure. Thank you. And keep on watching us for our co cover of the, the event. Thank you.